Hello, hello. Uh, welcome. It's me again. It's Friday. Uh, good old Friday. And we're, uh, you know, I thought we'd start off today with a little bit, a little bit more of the old Mario tennis. So let's go. Ah, there we are. There we go. Oh, I should turn on my PVM. And let's get rocking. Oh, I should turn the audio up. And there we go. Oh, you know what? There is a thing that that I forgot to do. All right, so anyway, uh, as I'm doing this, I should uh, just talk in general about how lovely Kai is hosting. Hello, welcome, thank you. Um, today I'm thinking of starting off with a little bit of Mario Tennis, and then we're probably going to play some uh, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 V Generation a little bit later. Uh, whenever we get through a game of, uh, of Mario Tennis. Should we try doubles today, or should we try a speedy character first? I'm thinking we should try doubles after we, um... After we kind of beat the game with each different type of character, you know? I want to try a speedy character. I want to try a, um... A power character and that kind of stuff. Oh, hey, somebody <laughs> somebody on the uh, Cherno Discord who posts about them playing just has the album cover for Dream Theater's Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence as their profile picture. All right, there we go. Sorry, you have to go. Oh, well, that's all right. That's okay. I know that you're here in spirit. Okay. Mario Tangy. <laughs> oh, 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 let's grab this controller. What? How is this controller cable not underneath five other cables? All right, well, that's pretty sweet. Well, let's go, let's play. Mario All right, one player. We have beaten it with these three characters, Mario, Luigi, and Peach. There we go, boom. Uh, so now it's time to try out uh, Baby Mario, who is a speedy character. Or if I want to just be a speedy character, I could just go for like Birdo or Yoshi. Um, in fact, let's do that. I'm going to break my left to right, top to bottom, and instead play as Yoshi for our speedy character. And because the reason is that. I'm going to start doing doubles just to see what it's like at some point. And so, yeah. I, I, I want to get my, I want my speedy character to be Yoshi. And I want my power character to be probably Bowser. Tournament. All right, remember how difficult it was to be a technique character? Oh, jeez. Am I ready for that new Mario Tennis and smash? Well, um, yes. Now, I, you know, I don't know. All right, Luigi beat Peach. And now it's me versus Paratroopa. Paracoopa. Which is a little tricky because he's a tricky character, so I gotta watch out for some curve shots. But we are a speedy character, so... We're going to be pretty good. Anyway, um, I've, 
a, a, a hater on our aisle. What are we talking about? Okay. No, no. Here's what I was going to say. I'm not super into Super Smash Bros. That's all. That's all I was going to say. I'm not super excited about a new Smash Bros. Because I'm just not really very... I'm just not really into Smash Bros. Um... And, like, the new Mario Tennis looks aight, but I've already got Mario Tennis on N64. However, I'll be very interested. I will be very interested in Mario Tennis on Switch. Now, what I am really excited for that was on Nintendo Direct is... Dark Souls on Switch, I'm excited about. Um... It wasn't on today's nin uh, Nintendo Direct, but I'm I'm still pretty excited about the idea of uh, Metroid Prime 4. Uh, I will definitely be getting that new Splatoon expansion. The single player in Splatoon 2 was really fun. I really enjoyed the Splatoon single player, so uh, I'll definitely be getting a expansion to that. That sounds great. Um... All right, well, we, we kicked his ass, and then, all right, so Daisy beats Toad, Mario beats Boo, and it's me versus Luigi. Orkin Man, you have never played a Metroid. What are you talking about? What are you talking about now? Orkin Man, I don't understand if you realize the potential that you just admitted to. You mean to tell me that on your stream, you could play a blind playthrough of Super Metroid? Orkin Man, a blind playthrough of Super Metroid is a sacred ritual. That the entire world would watch. That's all. That's right. The whole world will be... <laughs> even Satan. Especially Satan. Satan will be taking notes on your performance. He needs to know whether your soul is worth bargaining for. Where's my mouse? Where's my damn mouse? Oh man. Uh, Luigi was really bent up about that loss. There it is. Alright. Alright, Mario beat Daisy. Now it's us versus Mario. Rafia, hello, how are you? It is wonderful to see you again. Yeah! I'm part of Satan's crew. Oh, dude. That happened years ago. Alright, so do you guys remember when the last time we played Super Mario Tennis? Whoa, I thought I was Mario! Um I was Peach and I like couldn't play because she's a technique character, I think was the problem. What are you clipping now? Uh-oh. I hit that real bad. Uh-oh, I hit that real bad. No, Mario! He fucking got me! With the bunt! What on earth is that emote? Oh, Yoshi has like a rainbow bat if you... If you hold the button. 
Like so. Do I have a hair in my mouth? I don't think so. False alarm. Oh, I'm Yoshi, right. Look, Mario, I'm... We've got a polygonal N64 Mario on the bottom of the screen. I think it's perfectly reasonable for me to be holding an N64 controller, seeing polygonal Mario on the screen, and assuming that I'm controlling Mario. I think that's perfectly reasonable, alright? It's just not reasonable that I would be get that Mario would be, you know, getting his ass kicked like this. Hey, assumptions save a lot of time, man. It takes very little time to correct somebody if they assume something incorrectly. But if they are correct, the assumption saved a lot of time. Ah. I don't call it an assumption. I call it a, a hypothesis, you know? I call it a theorem. Which I which I then base all of my information on. And it's up for somebody else to prove me wrong. <laughs> Am I just playing this to get people to come in? No, I bought this game recently and I'm playing it because it's fun. I love this game. I played this game like 10 years ago when I was a kid and I really, really liked it. Man, I... I, like, wasn't even a kid 10 years ago. I played this game, like, 15 years ago. Anyway. Um. Oh, my gosh. Yoshi. He makes a golden egg! Uh. But, nah. I played this game when in the N64 was new. Or, not new, but before the GameCube was out, right? And I really, really liked it. Uh. And so, I have been thinking about it a lot recently, and then just the other day, Obst was playing it on stream, and I was like, yo, this is the, f this is the last straw. And I went on Amazon and purchased a copy, and now I'm playing it. So I figure we'll just, we'll play this game till I've beaten it with each character and that kind of stuff. Was there a GameCube version? I don't, I don't think so. I'm just saying that I played this game before the GameCube system was out. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I'm being kind of lazy. I should... I should be... Uh-oh! Yoshi, you dumb idiot! There we go. But hey, you know, that's not... That's not to say that this game doesn't bring the viewers in, though. Because people do bring this in. You don't remember the graphics being this bad? This game looks great! But I will have you know, it may come as a surprise to you. But I don't, I don't know if you know this. But... The Nintendo 64 has the exact same number of pixels on the screen as the NES, aka the Nintendo Entertainment System. Did you know this? The NES and the N64 have the same resolution, the same number of pixels on the screen. It's just that with 3D graphics, and anti-aliasing, and the millions of colors that the N64 is able to produce, versus the very limited color palette of the NES, as well as each sprite only being able to have three colors in it, um, and just the limited number of sprites that could be on screen on the NES. For all these reasons, the NES looks blockier but it actually is the same number of blocks. What the-
the fuck, Yoshi? There we go, there we go. Oh! I was messing with my mouse. The, uh, my, my mouse cursor was sitting on the chat window. And when it, um... When your kappa scrolled up onto the chat window, it it, and then the chat the the kappa got zoomed in because I think Franker Faces does that. It uh, it uh, tilted me off the planet, and I had to move the mouse. So if it wasn't Yoshi's fault that I that I lost a point, it was kappa's point. It was kappa's fault. That's right. I was tiddled. Tiddled even. All right. Baby Mario beat Luigi. Waluigi beat Paracoupa, whatever his face is. All right, we're up against Mario again. I can't take this. What are you, a Dark Souls message? Uh-oh. Nice. Nobody says they're leaving and actually leaves. When I worked at GameStop, did anyone ever play with dollar coins? Like, maybe once. However, okay, alright, I actually... This is a good question. So, maybe once somebody paid with dollar coins? Uh, however, when I worked in, um, <laughs> did you stick your tongue up but also pulled one of your eyes down? That's the thing that Japanese people do, right? They go, eh. I've seen it in animes, that's how I know. Anyway, um, so dollar coins weren't really a thing, but when I worked in, uh, Uptown, Uptown Minneapolis is kind of known for having a lot of hipsters in it. And there was the hippest pizza joint ever down the screen uh, down the street. They had like mac and cheese pizza and like mashed potato pizza and that kind of stuff. And um and they charged like I don't remember how much it was a slice, but it came down to a 50 cent amount. And they actually gave people 50 cent coins as change. Because that's how fucking hip this place was. They gave half dollars in change. So because this place was down the street, we did get a lot of people using half dollar coins. Got him. Match point. Orchid Man, I can't help but realize that you used a gender neutral uh, pronoun about yourself. Have I ever paid someone with dollar coins? Yeah? I think my answer again is maybe one. I want to say, well, okay, not once. Um, I think when I was little, you know, like, like very young, uh, I want to say that I got some dollar coins as a gift. Like one of my aunts or uncles gave all the kids like five bucks or something for their Christmas gift. But the thing that made it a gift, a Christmas gift and not just five bucks, was that they gave them to us in dollar coins. And that was supposed to make it neat. 
Which it was for me. When I was a kid, I really liked coins. So, uh... I'm sure I just eventually spent those, though, just like I spent my $2 bills. I'm told, though, that in Canada, dollar coins are... One dollar and two dollar coins are much more common. They call them loonies and toonies. You just pay for it with a loony. Man, Yoshi seems pretty good. But yeah, if there were a few years. It's funny, like, at, um, this one year, my, uh... My aunt and uncle got me, uh, like, a collection of coins of that year. It's like when the new year of coins come out, you could get a box that was, like, a complete collection. It was, you know, one dollar coin, a half dollar, a quarter, a dime, a nickel, a penny, uh, of the new set of coins, right? For that year. And one year they got me them, and I thought it was really neat. Uh, probably because I'm a kid, I was a kid, but, um, like, I like, I really like nice packaging. And so, you know, not really knowing this as a kid, but just getting these coins, it made sense. It was like, there was something very satisfying to me about these coins being mint condition in, like, a nice package. Um, and so I really liked it, and then they ended up getting me those... Uh, a few year, a few years in a row. I probably had like seven years of these coins. Um, I don't. Th I, I never spent them. I, I, or by spent, you'd have to take them out of the package. I never took them out of the package or anything. Actually, the first few that I got were not even in a box. They were in an envelope. It was like an envelope, and when you took it out, it was like laminated sheets that had all the coins in them. And then at some point, the U.S. Treasury, or whoever the hell sells this stuff, uh, stepped up their game and started putting the coins in a box where, um, where the sheets of coins were like a plastic, uh, like a plastic tray. Uh, like a hard plastic tray, I mean, as opposed to a laminate sheet. So yeah, I'm sure those are like still at my parents' house or something. And then shortly after that, around when that ended was when they started making coins for each state. I don't know how, how old or young some of you are who are also from the US, but every state didn't used to have... WHAT?! Every state didn't used to have its own quarter. Um, and I, I, I remember when the, the, uh, per state quarters first came out, and then there was kind of a rush to, like, get every coin, you know? I, I remember people having, like, cardboard, uh, like, displays that had slots for each quarter, so you could get one quarter of each state. And it was really confusing at first because they didn't do every state. They didn't do all 50 states quarters at once. Only some states had them at first. And so you couldn't get all of them at first. All right. It's time for the, the big boys league. It's time for the star cup. It's the Star Cup. All right, we're against Birdo first. Hopefully, Birdo doesn't kick my ass like last time. I'm Yoshi now, though. I'm not Princess Peach anymore. Uh oh.
Uh oh. Uh, this is big. Uh oh, I should have canceled that. I'm not at, I'm not like hitting this at the right ball height I think. Ow. That pizza place? Oh, it's been forever. It was just down the street from the GameStop that I worked at that was in Uptown. In fact, I don't know if I ever ate there. Yeah. I ate there like only once or twice. It was it was a bit too hip for me. All the workers and stuff were really, like, unfriendly. They, like, they, they just, like, I don't know. The, the workers all acted like it was a huge pain in the ass for them to serve you pizza. I think it was called... Hang on. There was a good pizza place that was around too, so I don't want to slander their name by accident. I think it was called... Yeah, it was called Mesa Pizza. Like Black Mesa. Yeah, Mesa Pizza. The good place was Pizza Luce. Alright, I'm getting my ass kicked by Birdo again. What? I mean, I know it's because the ball height isn't correct, but fuck! Oh, here's this shit again where I, I can't get a good serve return against Birdo. Oh, right, I need to go for a... I need to go for a, a, a smash. Speaking of smashes, uh oh. Step back a little bit. Uh oh. Wait, what? That was Birdo's. Did I get out last time? What the fuck? What happened? I don't remember that happening. I'm actually kind of pissed about that. What the fuck happened? The shot that I thought I scored on. Like I thought that I scored, and then and then Mario called match point. I'm only mad because I don't understand. I, I I was caught off guard. I thought I scored a point, and then and then Mario called match point. But a, I must have gone out.
Yeah. Google that first pick they have is sliced with macaroni on it. Yeah. That was their whole thing is that they just basically served a lot of different stuff on a pizza dough, a pizza pie dough plate, you know? And there were different kinds of pizza, which is fine. You know, mac and cheese pizza is good. Maybe that's what I have to do with this, is like, do smash shots for shots that aren't even, uh, star shots, like right now. Maybe that's what I was supposed to be doing the whole time. I feel like as Peach, I didn't get the chance to charge up that much though, probably because Yoshi is faster. not timing these right, apparently. Yeah! Alright, well, I kicked Birdo's ass that time. Alright, what do we got? Bowser beats Waluigi. Shy Guy beats Wario. Mario beats Baby Mario. And we are up against Bowser. Let's go. My favorite place to eat in that area, uh, there was a famous Dave's that you could, um, that you could just get takeout from. I got takeout from that famous Dave's quite a few times. Because it was just a nice little walk down the street. Uh, most of the time, though, there there was an Arby's, like, kitty corner, you know? Like, uh, like diagonally opposite the, uh, the, the, um... The street corner intersection. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so most breaks when I was working there, I, w I would go to that Arby's. But yeah, favorite was Famous Dave's, which Famous Dave's is like my favorite restaurant in general. Uh-oh. Ah. Never eaten at Famous Dave's. It's a barbecue place. It's really good. I, I enjoy barbecue a lot, so. Yeah. I mean, I really only ever get their brisket, but still, I mean, their brisket's great. That's the point. Um, another GameStop I worked at was the one in uh, Minnetonka, and that one had a Chinese place by it called Wanderer's Garden, and this was the best thing ever, because Wanderer's Garden was delicious, first of all. They were a Chinese place, and their food was just fucking bomb. Uh... They were just excellent. But on top of that... Oh, that was fucked. What just happened. On top of that, they had a buffet. God damn it. Oh, yeah? Okay, so they had a buffet. But the thing about their buffet was that you could get takeout from their buffet. You could grab, like, a takeout container and go through the buffet... And then they would just charge you by weight. So you could just, you know, go in and go out. And it was buffet food. And oh my god, it was so good. 
And it was really cheap, too, the, what they charged you. It was funny, too, because um, my parents actually frequented that place uh, before I ever worked in the area. It was like a thing that, which is weird because it's like, it's like a half hour away from where my parents live. Uh, and I don't really think of my parents as being people who go out ever. But, uh, a, they, they did go to this Wanderer's Garden place whenever they were out, uh, in that area. And I would go with them sometimes and stuff, uh, since I was a kid. So then it was funny that when I when I learned that it was next to where I was working and I went there for lunch, the guy, like the main like, sit you down guy, the greeter, uh, recognized me. I was like, oh, where are your parents? I was like, oh, that's funny. It's just me. It's just me. I'm sorry, you're old. Now the the next generation of of kin is is here to eat by themselves. This is, you know, these words only came into my mind this time. Yeah. Match point. The ultimate test of power versus speed. I kicked Bowser's ass. Oh, I should also... Oh, man. Maybe Orkin Man really did leave. Oh, I'm against Mario. Um... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, that Nintendo Direct. We were talking about the Nintendo Direct and how I'm not a big fan of Smash Bros. But guess what? Uh, what I did love about the Nintendo Direct was the entire thing. Because I just love the way that Nintendo presents their shit. They don't show you a bunch of overly edited fucking Hollywood movie style trailers for their games. They tell you how their games play. It's just one of those things that goes to show how, like, people make fun of Nintendo for being, for, like, not keeping up with the times. But nah. In Nintendo's case, being old school is good. They still, they still show off their games like it's the 90s where they actually explain the game to you instead of just being like you know here's a dark and dreary trailer where some dudes shoot each other and nothing about the game is said there's just some edgy dialogue and you're not really sure whether it's a video game or a movie I think this game is just getting harder. I don't think that it had to do with Peach anymore. I think it was a mixture of me being bad with Peach and the fact that the game is just getting harder. As I as I star up more of these characters. But maybe not, who knows. Neener Wiener, what's up? Neener Wiener, your brand is on point. I didn't even need to read your Twitch name. I just glanced over and kind of vaguely saw two glowy hands and a dog face, and I was like, oh, Neener Wiener's here.
Game and set Yoshi. How do you like them apples? Whoops. Uh oh. I'm blowing my serve set. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right. Don't screw this up. I don't want to have to enter Deuce. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Ah. Oh. My serve returns are so bad that I just like cannot get into the the game. There we go. The direct surprise? Yes. Yes, I did. Which, it wasn't much of a surprise. I mean, they're making Smash Bros. I mean, who didn't think that they were going to make a Smash Bros for the Switch? They've got their Mario game out of the way. They got their Zelda out of the way. I was more expecting to see, like... I mean, I would have been more surprised at something like Animal Crossing or... I mean, even that I wouldn't have called surprising. You think it's too early? What? Here's the thing about the Nintendo Switch. Nobody bought a Wii U. So, the faster that they can get their main franchises onto the Switch, the better. Like, if I were a... If I liked Super Smash Bros. If I was a Super Smash Bros. fan. I would be like, oh. Good, they're getting this shit off the Wii U. And I can play it on Switch soon. I guess I am concerned about the GameCube controller compatibility. But guess what? I don't think that even matters anymore. Because the Switch Pro controller is phenomenal. But I don't know, I don't really play Smash Bros, so I couldn't tell you. Oh, you son of a bitch, Mario. Got him. Oh, I'm too far away. Well, yeah, hopefully they'll do the th hopefully they'll do the thing that they did with the Wii U where they let you still use a GameCube controller because that is kind of tradition at this point. I mean, the the last thing that they did with the Wii U, it was a USB thing, right? You put in a USB thing that had that had GameCube controller ports on it. Um The, uh, and it took up two USB ports, right? Well, the front of the Nintendo Switch dock has two USB ports on it. I wonder if they're spaced the same or if the same USB thing will work. Making 
Championship point. Championship point. Uh oh. Yeah, there was no getting that. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I can't answer these. Fuck. It's so frustrating when that happens. Like, every single hit that I do is just giving it away to him. Oh, my God. No, get out of here with this shit. What? Mario just missed it. Okay, well, that's silly. It must have bounced over his head. I hate these serve returns where they do that. Okay, yep, here we are again. Every single one of my returns just gives it to him. Maybe that's when I'm supposed to use a different kind of hit. When I'm like just barely returning one. Like right now. He's gonna slam it. Fuck. Oh, it's announced to come out this year? I, I'm so mad. I just like, I cannot return a serve without it without it being shitty for me again maybe it's that kind of thing where I need to use the different kind of hit No, this is on N64. Yeah. Okay, so far so good on using B instead of A to return serves. Championship point. I gave it to him. There we go. But yeah, yeah, this game looks really good. I saw that on YouTube. I actually like just ordered a Hori mini pad to try it out. Uh, which is a third party controller that was made in, in Japan a long time ago. And they don't make them anymore. So you can only, uh, you can only use, or you can only get them used. Uh, and that's shipped. It's on the way to me. But yeah, that controller, it looked really good. 
The thing I'm worried about as far as third-party controllers go is that the N64's analog stick is, like, really nice and really sensitive. I know it seems shitty because it's, like, a... Because it's what goes bad on N64 controllers all the time. Um, but as far as sensitivity goes, the N64's analog stick has, like, a lot of different degrees of m uh, movement on it. This is actually a third-party controller, though, and this one feels really nice and works really well, so... Uh, it's just this one's got these loud-ass buttons on it that I don't like. So I'm going to try out that Hori mini pad, see how that goes. And then, depending on the price of this new one that we're seeing and reviews for it and stuff, I'm curious to see how that one goes, too. All right, all right. We watched the full credit sequence the first time. We don't got to watch it every time. Mario Penny. <laughs> all right, so now we've got Yoshi all starred up. Sounds good, sounds good. What do you guys say we play a little nep? A little nep nep. A little nepperoni pizza. Special rules. Well, the thing about sticks is that they're generally constructed differently nowadays. The N64 stick is like, it pushes against a plastic bowl, and that's what gives it its, you know, its like round tilt. Uh, however, that's what causes the wiggle stick, because you grind the stick against the bowl as you move it, and that, uh, and that wears it down over time. Sticks aren't built, sticks aren't like constructed that way anymore. Uh, so... However, I would say, I would say that th that means that they're, they should be more, uh, they should have more longevity, but, well, I'll also say that, like, this stick I've been using for a while, and this one is not getting bad at all. This third-party controller analog stick I really like, and it's, it's not showing any signs of wear. Um, also, like, GameCube sticks always have been perfect for me. Uh, so, yeah, I like that a lot. But, I have two, uh, DualShock 4s. I have two PS4 controllers, and both of them have shitty analog sticks. They both started out perfect, and after so many hours of use, they started to get dead zones in them. Not dead zones like Wiggle Stick, like the N64 has, not dead zones like you can't, you can't, uh, uh, make little motions with them and you have to make larger motions, you know, like in the middle. Nothing like that. It's just like certain degrees of, of forward versus slightly left versus slightly right. Certain degrees don't work on those controllers anymore. One of them, and this even like sounds made up, one of my controllers... If you move the right analog stick slightly up, it registers you moving it slightly down. And then and then when you move it further up, it cor it corrects and starts going the right way. But it's like, what? What the hell, man? So I don't use that controller anymore because the right analog stick is fucked. And on my new controller, new, you know, I got it a while ago, uh, the left analog stick has a problem where if I push the left stick directly forward, it sits there and like, and like, wiggles back and forth between a little bit left and a little bit right, instead of just going straight forward. So like, my character in Monster Hunter, as I'm walking forward, will just be like, 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 wiggling back and forth, but, but, but super fast. It's incredibly frustrating. So... As much as I thought that I liked the DualShock 4, I'm very disappointed by its lack of, you know, lasting durability. Because I don't have problems with controllers, really, ever. 
they get a lot of use. I use my controllers a lot, but like these are the first controllers besides the besides the N64, which wears down for everybody. Um these DualShock 4s are the first controllers I've ever had that actually have been wearing out on me through normal use. Which means that even though I once thought the DualShock 4 was one of the best controllers in modern times, uh, it's only second to the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, I now kind of think that it might actually be the shittiest controller since the N64. The Super Pad? Oh, wow, that's a weird looking controller. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking analog stick. I don't like that it doesn't use the octagonal cutout, though. Uh, let me show you a picture of the controller that I bought. And I'm really looking forward to trying it out. Uh, thar she blows. Um, so the thing about the Hori Mini Pad is that the D pad looks like it's there just to be there, you know, just so that it has a, a um, just so that it, it has a D pad and technically works with all games, you know, but, um, you wouldn't use it primarily, you know? However, if you're playing a game that primarily uses the D-pad, like, uh, like, uh, WrestleMania 2000, then you don't need a, you don't need a third-party controller anyway, because the N64 controller is perfectly comfortable in D-pad mode, you know? But yeah, same with the Hori Pad. I think it has L and R, and then I think each side has has Z on it as well. I think there's two Z buttons. I'm not sure, though. Right. Yeah. But again, again, the D-pad is way out of the way. However, if you're playing a game that uses the D-pad all the time, then you would just use a normal N64 controller because it's great for D-pad games, you know? What this controller does do, though, is that it, 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 ha it has the analog stick in a comfortable position, just like the regular system does. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's play some Nap, yeah? I just gotta set it up real quick. <laughs> 